Okay, here's the load of pots that came out of that kiln, and I'm not a happy camper. Uh, sometimes things just don't go as um, you expect, and this is a prime example. The greens here, these are celadins. Celadin, that's a celadin. Celadin, that's Jeff's red. That's my blue jean glaze. Basically what happened here is my kiln did not fire up to temperature. Uh, cone 9 was down flat. Cone 10 did not start to bend yet. Um, I've done that firing in the past and without a problem. But I have a bad feeling that it's my kiln shelves and... When I say it's my kiln shelves, I mean that they're too big. Uh, these were those kiln shelves that I originally were firing with, um, and they cracked. I ran a little video on this oh, a few months ago. Um, these are 20 by 20. The new kiln shelves I have are 21 by 21. Actually, I think they're 22 by 22. So there's not a lot of space for circulation in that kiln. Since I've been using the new shelves, I've been having problems. So I'm going to cut my new shelves. This is an oatmeal glaze. It's a matte oatmeal glaze. This actually didn't come out too bad on this firing. It's a little matte, but it's still not bad. This is Jeff's Red. This was in a separate shelf than these Jeff's Reds. So that tells me that this kiln is not firing evenly and I'm pretty sure it's because of my shelves. There's just not enough circulation around the edges of them is what I'm willing to bet. And inside that is a leech white. So that leech white fired okay. And the other Jeff's red see just a little bit of pink starting to come through. This was a vegetable steamer. Pretty cool little thing. But I chipped it, knocking the lid off. I chipped it. Here's a tea bowl. This is my blue jean with a clay body that I was trying. I will not be using it. And that's blue jean with my normal clay body. And that's blue jean with that clay body I was trying. So these two are roughly the same with that clay body. And this is my other clay body. I like that one better. Uh, teapot I made. The celadin is just plain not good looking. Um, either because of the reduction wasn't even in the kiln. It made cone 9, like I said, but I'm not sure if, where this was. I forget where this was. And I made a bunch of mugs, which are all terribly ugly. This is that new clay body with um, the celadin glaze, which I don't like. This is my regular clay body with the celadin glaze. But like I said, it's not quite fired right. And I'm the worst glazer on the face of the planet. I'm convinced. Um, unevenness drips. This one here drips. I cannot get this to glaze evenly. I will take advice from anybody. <laughs> this one didn't come out too bad. A little dripping there. Again, I think if this fired correctly... Because see how that's the celadin in here, it's kind of greenish, milky. If that fired correctly, it would be more clear green, and you wouldn't, I don't think you'd see those drips as much. Uh, another tea bowl. Now, what's interesting is these tea bowls have leech white on the inside, and that's my oatmeal glaze on the outside. Now, this was in a different shelf than this bowl, which is matte, but it's smooth. Now these T-bowls are, it's rough. 
That's that same exact glaze, different shelf. Different shelf, same glaze. It's just plain, not fired up. Same thing here, it's not fired. Same thing here, not fired, so don't see the hammer. This is that new clay body I tried. Someone gave it to me, I'm not gonna tell you who. Uh, I like this glaze, this is my regular blue jean glaze, but it bloated. So this clay body bloated on me and I'm all done trying new clay bodies. I'm gonna stick with the one I have and I'm gonna keep using it. It's a standard, I think it's the 153. Now I took the leech white on the inside of this bowl, rolled it, and then I sprayed the blue jean, and then I put it upright and I sprayed the edge, so that's why it's kind of faded like that. Kind of a cool look, but that's bloated, so that's going in the trash. And this is going in the trash. See the bloat there? And it's bloated. Now, these are Jeff's red. I'm happy I got the red color. But I'm not happy because it's not fired to maturity. It's very, very matte, very, very rough. Uh, I wouldn't trust these for food. Uh, that ball is a good shape, but I, it's not just not fired to maturity and it's loaded with pinholes there. So that tells me that it fired, but it didn't fire to maturity, didn't give a chance to smooth over, and it's very rough, so. Just not a good firing in general for me. I, it happens. <laughs> for me, it happens more often than not. So, and this is the only bowl that came out halfway decent. It's a big, solid bowl. You can see the size on that. Now, the Sullivan's here, it's a little matte. It's not as nice as um, it could be, but I'm not gonna throw it out without because it's A, it's not bloated. It's pretty even coverage, pretty even color, so that's one of the keepers I have, so. And mugs. Mugs, mugs, mugs. I have more of these to put in my next firing. I have to figure out what I'm doing wrong dipping. I'll take advice, but I, I don't know. See the ugly drips. Ugly drips. Ugly drips. Just not happy with this firing in, in general, so. That's it. I'm gonna try again. I have a whole another. I have a whole bunch more um, to um, fire. <laughs> so I'll probably do another firing in a few days. And there's my new chimney section. It's under a block for that. That's an old kiln shop. Weighting that down where I concreted that those joints with some refractory cement. So I will be um, firing my next kiln load with my new chimney section so and over here I have a whole bunch of um, earthenware stuff this is all gonna be raku stuff even the flower pots I'm gonna raku I'm gonna put that white raku glaze on the outside and um, fire them up so it'll be something different so there's some raku pots and there's some raku stuff some earthenware that's terracotta jugs. A few more forms up there. And these are all glazed, ready to go in the kiln. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. So, I will um, see you next time I fire. And here's hoping that I'll get some better results next time. I guess they uh, can't all be winners. So, we'll see you next time.